home. He's got chicken. And I think I've got fish. Okay, so um, we've just been lazing on the beach today. But we're both feeling a bit sorry for ourselves. But I'm particularly because my face is sore. Like my forehead and my lips feel numb. And the rest of it kind of just aches. Um, and then also I feel more sunburnt as I was driving. I feel more sunburnt than yesterday. So like it hurts sitting and moving and anything really. Anyway, so we've been chilling on the beach. I think we're now probably just going to chill in the hut for a bit. See, so yeah, not very exciting today. our last day here in Paradise, I'm half asleep this morning. Um, my face is looking a bit better, although it still looks gross. I'm just worried about getting the scars now, but anyway. So I think I might try to do a bit more filming today. I'll take some more photos of where we are. Yes, yeah, so we're just walking down for breakfast. We're going to go for a morning swim before the sun gets too hot because then we're going to sit in the shade all day again. I got myself a coconut with this view. So I want to do lots of videoing today. Um, but I haven't done, I don't really know why since that's our last day here but really honestly we've just been sat in the shade and then we came in here for a bit on our beds and just some reading, I had a bit of a nap um, we've not really done a lot which has been really nice we've kind of just been relaxing so I think we're now just going to go and sit on the beach for a bit um, in the shade obviously because it's still too hot for us so my bed is the one right in the end and then it's Jeremy's and then we had one guy sleeping here for two nights then we've got another guy here for two nights and then we walk up here. So over there is where we get off the boat when we arrive. And then that's where we get food. That's where we can sit and eat food. Um, or that's where we got our induction when we arrived here. Dinner. 
fuck did you do this? Oh, let's try again. So we're about to go out for dinner. We're going to an Italian place because we've had rice and fish for the past five days, twice a day. So we're gonna go to a pizza place which apparently gets quite busy because it's quite small. So hopefully it'll be yummy. Oh, James up for later. And then I think we might go and have a look at the view afterwards because apparently there's a nice view of Panama City and all the skyscrapers. So we'll see. <laughs> church with like new church built around it quite nice so we've just been for pizza which is one of the best pizzas I've had in my entire life I never had pizza in Italy so you know I've got some reference to go by it was bloody delicious but you could go it's like like a subway version like you could um Put on the put on the um, pizza what you wanted. So I chose eleven vegetables, no eight vegetables. And Jeremy got some blue cheese and ham and some veggies. And was it yummy? Yeah, really good. It was good. Oh, look at that. Anyway, so now we've just come for a bit of a walk round. We're in Casco Vie Viejo, Viejo, which is like the old part of town. I can't say that word. <laughs> But it's the old part of town, apparently it used to be French, like it's a French, old French place. You can tell by the architecture, it reminds me a bit of Paris or some of the old French towns we've been to visit. <laughs> so I went for chocolate and Jeremy got, what did you get? Cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. Is that skyline now? Good morning, we're up and we're gonna go and explore Casco Viejo. Um, I woke up this morning at about 7 am because there's some stupid noise going every minute or so, which was annoying, but anyway, um, I think we're gonna probably get some bananas or fruit and things for breakfast and then have a walk around and stay for lunch. I'll probably come back here and get some bits done, like some washing and it's funny here because I have buildings like this which are really well kept next to buildings like this that are abandoned and not well kept. So Jeremy just made a good point that after but well, with all the work going on, we think that in like 10 years time, if you come back, it'll be a completely different place to what it is now, because everything at the moment is being redone. But it'll be different in, you know, five, 10 years time. 
Also, we don't know what this fruit is, so we saw it yesterday. Yeah, it's really Like it belongs in like a western film. It looks like what you expect in like a ranch in Texas or something. down there where there's markets and people selling stuff and then there's this view and that's the um like the downtown bit obviously and there's this road that goes all the way around Now we're looking there, looks fun. Got monkey faces. So we just had lunch at the flat, we had uh, pitters with salad and then we've been getting some bits done like I wrote my blog post about Sandblast Islands which I'll link below um, and now we're going to go for a walk and maybe go for ice cream which would be nice, there's a couple of places we've seen but there's one in particular that does like cone, not cones, like sticks with, I'll show you, it looks nice. So we've just come back for the second or third time today to look at the water, it's all come up, it looks so much nicer than it did before. I went for the red berries and Jeremy got strawberry cheesecake. We're going to go out for dinner, we're about to go get some ceviche, I think it's some seafood. Look at that behind me. It's a nice church. So apparently the president lives down there somewhere. So they've got loads of CCTV, CCTV cameras and guards with guns so that people can't go in. I think he's got a nice view over the city. Wow. <laughs> Good morning, I'm still ill, again. I feel like I've just been ill constantly recently. Um, but we've just been for breakfast at a nice cafe. I got um, chocolate cake and Jeremy got juice. And then we've just been working on a blog and doing some bits and then we've just decided to come for a bit of a walk. In the old town, um, I don't know what we've got planned for the rest of the day, but we'll see. God, it's so hot in the sun, you can tell, like it's midday now. 
I think if I stay out for maybe 10 minutes, I'm going to burn. But, um, so that's the playground, and this is the view. The beach isn't great. I don't think I would sunbathe on there. Especially not this time of day, actually. <laughs> so the old town of Cascova Via, which I keep telling you about, but basically it's an old French town. And you can tell from all the archways and the colourful buildings and things, it's so pretty. Look at this little guy. I don't know if you can see him. Oh. Hey, so when I say it's inspired by the French, this is what I mean. There's like shutters and lovely doors and nice colours and balconies. So we're just heading out to go and watch the sunset. I think we're going to go to the marketplace we went to yesterday or the day before, whenever it was. Hopefully we'll get a nice view from there. I'm still feeling ill. Um, but we've just been doing some bits and bobs. Like I've just finished my video from last week. Excuse the truck. And then Jeremy's just done his blog, his first blog post about Panama as well. So I'll link everything below so you can have a look. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice sunset. So there's the markets down there. The view of the city. And there's this guy here doing some paintings. Apparently pelicans sleep in trees, which I wouldn't have thought. And I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna get it on video, but there's two there. It's so weird here because you get places like this, like a posh restaurant, literally opposite something that's run down, falling apart, no windows, it's got this metal thing to catch any shit that falls down. It's so weird. I think this building's got these metal bits holding the wall up, because I don't think it's got another wall, I think it's just the front, like, the facing wall. Apparently this way there's a door and there's a big something we didn't understand. I wasn't expecting to see a huge nativity scene, but there's a big gold thing behind, which is quite nice as well. This one looks quite nice. I think it's the same one we saw earlier. There's like a big building there in a park.
this building. This looks nice. Looks nice, that, doesn't it? No idea what it is. So we've just had some um, breakfast at the cafe, but it's like um, an ice cream place. We shared a waffle and a chocolate croissant, which was lovely. We've now just come to try and find a cash machine, and then we're going to go and get some food for lunch and probably for dinner as well, trying to save a bit of money. Um, what else are we doing today? I'm going to Skype my mum later on, but it should be nice. I've not spoken to her properly really for a couple of months, <laughs> seems like. Um, yeah, they're just going to keep working. So I've published two new blog posts recently, so I'll link them below. Um, one was on the San Blas Islands, the other one was on um, the Kunas, the tribes people. And I'll probably be doing one around here as well soon enough. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a busy but chill day. This is where we came the other day, well, the other night, and it was dark. It was quite nice during the day as well. And there's the bank there, the yellow one. And then up there is the rooftop that we saw where there was the lights and music. I'm really loving Casco Viejo, it's lovely. I feel like I'm back in Europe. But I could see myself living here. Have a lip to nice tea. Is it good? <laughs> um, we've been in the sun for literally like a minute, like not long at all, not been outside much, and my skin's blistering again already. Oh, that's nice. Yay. Fun for me. Airbnb.
So I've just arrived at our um, host family. It's a woman called Deborah living on her own. Um, so we've got a double bed and a bathroom and then there's the kitchen and things downstairs. So I'll show you around and see what it's like. <laughs> but she speaks only Spanish. Like she has, she knows like one or two words of English, which is good. I mean, it's good to listen to. But I literally understand zero. And Jeremy's like doing all the talking and the listening. He trans he's translating everything. So obviously I do need to have these Spanish lessons because I don't understand anything. Um, but it'll be good, it'll be good to listen to her talking and to try and interact with her and learn and listen that way, so. <laughs> it's funny though. She, got, she might as well be speaking Chinese to me, honestly, like I haven't got a clue what's going on. So this is the bedroom. Door bed with a desk and then our bathroom. Um, and she lives in this big house. That's obviously the lounge. There's a hammock outside. And a dining table. Oh no, this is the kitchen. It's quite a big house. So just a quick catch up. Um, we came to our homestay place. We're staying in a house with a woman who speaks just Spanish, which is good for us, but I don't understand anything. Jeremy's getting by, but I literally don't understand a word. Um, so we arrived here early this afternoon, and then at three o'clock I went to the school, pay off this, the uh, lessons, which showed me around a bit and just explained a couple of things, and then we came back, and honestly I just felt like shit, so I napped for about two hours. Um, I'm still feeling like shit, so I'm going to go to bed soon, I think. Maybe watch something for an hour, chill out, and then go to sleep. Um, and then I've got my lessons tomorrow, 9 till 11. Um, I was meant to be going to the orphanage tomorrow, but I still don't feel well, so I don't think I'll go tomorrow. Hopefully by Tuesday, but I'll go back to the orphanage and help out again. Yeah, so I'm starting my Spanish lessons tomorrow. So, so far I've done a bit on Duolingo, so I can say colours, some animals. I can say little bits and bobs, so it'll be interesting to see. I think I'm going to update you guys every day on what I've learnt that day in Spanish classes, because I'm having two hours per day for this next week. Um, private lessons, which I think will be exhausting and hard work, but it'd be good because it's just one-on-one, -on -one, so if I have any questions or if I'm not quite getting something, we can spend time on it, whereas when I learnt French in Paris, in a group lesson, I sometimes zoned out of things, or people would ask questions that I wouldn't understand what they were asking, then I wouldn't understand the reply, and you, kind of, you, can, you can get left behind a bit if you're not quite keeping up with the group, whereas at least private lessons, you know, it would just be me and the teacher, so I'll be able to learn exactly what I want to learn, and I think I'll be able to learn the vocab that I want as well. So yeah, like I said, I'll let you know how we get on. But anyway, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Um, see you again next week.